How do you fight an enemy that doesn't fear death? You manipulate them from the inside until the monsters wipe each other out. There's an age-old question that has puzzled minds for generations. What happens when the hunted becomes the hunter? But what if the question was taken a step further? What happens when the lawless become the law? Worshipper. They kill thousands without repercussions. This is the question that multiple countries across South and Central America have found themselves faced with in the past several decades, as groups that employ violence and fear as their main tools have established themselves as the de facto authorities. Despite the standard video game embellishments, the Santa Blanca Cartel in Ghost Recon Wildlands is a near archetypal example of the narco order that has come to terrorize nations like Colombia in recent years. Its leader, El Sueño, sees himself as a messiah bringing his country into a new golden age. I had a dream. Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Bolivia. We to accomplish this goal, Sueño has employed and or strong-armed the help of media personalities and celebrities alike in order to establish his truth as the new law of Bolivia. A promise. His blog slandered me day after day after day. Por supuesto, something had to be done. So I hired hackers to track him down and offered him a job. I explained that telling my truth was much more preferable. My truth kept him alive. However, on the ground, the Santa Blanca commit various human rights violations to maintain their hold over Bolivia, including the use of torture and violence on the very people they claim to protect. As a result, the affected civilians are forced to either surrender themselves to the new de facto government, or abandon their home and seek shelter with another nation. I make you rich. But most of all, I let you rule like kings. But for those that oppose me... <laughs> this dilemma has become a frightening reality within the past several years, as narco and gang-driven violence in Latin America has forced millions of people from El Salvador, Venezuela, and Colombia to seek asylum in the United States and Mexico, triggering a refugee crisis that neither nation is fully prepared to handle controlados por pandillas, porque el pandillero siente, se siente con el poder de decidir sobre la vida, la muerte de los que le roban. Unfortunately, the nightmare world depicted in Ghost Recon Wildlands still exists today as a living reality in regions where human rights are routinely violated and the rule of law has been overthrown.